What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build-up video and we are doing part four to the Missy and CPT production guide. If you have not already, please hit that like and subscribe button. We have compiled up a bunch of um, charts and information to put together what we believe to be the highest profitable combination of items to make in a 24-hour period. Now, this is based on a realistic gameplay. Yes, you could make more money than this if you were to sit and make metal and nails all day long, but that's not realistic. So based off the guidelines that we've set, this is the most money you can make in a day on the game from for from a realistic standpoint, okay? So, if you have if you've been watching part 1, part 2, part 3, then I don't need to give you the entire rundown, and if you haven't watched part 1, part 2, part 3, then you shouldn't even be watching part 4. So, go watch part 1, 2, and 3. All right? If you have not already, please hit that like and subscribe button. I try to put content out at least uh every day, every couple days, whatever. I haven't put out very much this last week because I've had a family emergency. So that's why. Now we left off with doing our factories. So again, from a realistic standpoint, you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to open up your game and you're going to be collecting your nightly run of factory items. So we've started our day picking up our nighttime production of items from our factories. Now, if you <coughs> can read my screen, which I know that I chose to make this video on this the screen here because there really wasn't a lot to show you on the actual game itself. And I know that when YouTube turns my picture in the video, it's gonna be slightly, it's gonna be kind of difficult for you guys to see, so I apologize for that, but I really didn't have any other way to do it at this current time. Because I don't, I don't have a printer or anything right now. So, um, all right. So we're gonna start with the nighttime first. Like I said, because you're collecting them in the morning, and you're going to do an eight-hour sleep. Okay, it is sixty factory slots. So you're going to make thirty-five electrical components and twenty-five glass. All right. Now. That's 60 total slots. You're going to use 24 of the electrical and 24 of the glass to start your TV production. Now, you can make a total of 12 TVs in 24 hours. So this means that you're going to use 24 electric, 24 glass, and 24 plastic, right? So this is going to leave you with an extra... 11 electrical that you can sell, okay? So you'll make a little money there. And if, if you can look up here, you can see that you can sell electrical for $160. And you're making, you're selling 11 of them, okay? So you make a little bit of money, not much, but it's there, okay? Then you have the, um, the one extra glass that you made. Technically, to maximize your profits, you could make one other electrical and sell it, but you're going to be making pink drinks, so you could put that one glass towards the pink drinks if you wanted. Uh, all right, so let's go. All right, so here it says, if you don't have plastic already made, then you'll need to produce 24 plastic. So you're so right now you've opened your game, you've collected all your electrical and all of your glass. You've posted 11 of the electrical for sale, okay? And you've either kept that one glass extra to make the pink drink later, like towards it, or you've sold the one glass, okay? Or maybe you made one electrical and sold that. We're getting really fucking down to the, the last thing here. Okay, so... 
<sighs> Once you've collected all the texts, elect oh wait, no, sorry, I, I'm skipping ahead. So if you don't have plastic already made, you will need to produ produce the 24 plastic. Now, 24 plastic is going to take you nine minutes to make. So we've, we've calculated that in here. Once you have collected all of the text, electrical, and glass from your factories and made plastic to... Oh, wait. Text shouldn't be in there. Shit. Okay. That's an error. So we were making text before, and we changed it because the level 18 production guide is going to call for text because you don't have electrical and glass unlocked. So you're going to ignore that, um, the, the part about the text, if you're above level 40. So you can start making any metal, any wood, and any plastic needed to start your hardware and building supply shop. So let's say that you've got your plastic done and you've made your TVs. Now you are, depending on the amount of storage you have available, this is, this is going to make a huge difference on how you run your factories because if you chose option one in the building supply shop, then you will need to make nails and you're going to need quite a bit of metal and you're going to need quite a bit of metal, plastic and wood to make the hammers and the tape throughout the day. However, between batches of textiles for your flower, you'll be able to kind of work that in. So we, we've calculated it up to be there. It's just a matter of when and how many because there's no way of me, I can't know how much storage you have. I can't know how much space you're going to have to hold metal to make, to make things like nails, okay? So this is going to vary from person to person, and it's going to vary very greatly. Now, to start the 11 hammers, you will need 22 metal and 22 wood, so you know that you're going to need that. Now, you'll be able to make that and then put those hammers in queue, and then you'll, that space will be freed up. Then you'll, you, you will definitely need to either make several metal to start your nails. So you'll need 22 <coughs> um, metal to start your 11 nails. And then if you chose to do bricks instead of nails, then you need to go to the global market and purchase 22 minerals. Okay. Once you've stocked up on the amount that you can hold based off of what your storage capacity is and what items you have in your in your storage, once you have the amount that you're comfortable with, then you can start your first round of textiles, okay? Because you're going to need these for your flower. Now, essentially, what's happening here is you're, you're going to need to do, you're going to need to hold on to the day before items so that you have them available to you in the morning. You're not gonna be able to wait around for three hours for these textiles to finish in order to start your flower. So you're going to need to take the day before to stock up on those items. So essentially the items that you're making today, as the text, I mean, the text and the, the, the seeds that you're making today are going to be your tomorrow's stock okay so you've put down your flour and your caps and your whatnot okay now you're collecting now you're making your text for tomorrow otherwise what's going to happen is you're going to open your game you're going to lay down three hours worth of textiles and you're going to sit there and wait for three hours for them to finish and then you're gonna have to wait 20 minutes for the seeds and then once they're done then you'll be able to start your flower production if you do that you're missing out on three hours and 20 minutes of time that you could be making flour and caps and all that good shit so you must stock up for the day before so basically what you're making today is for tomorrow's run okay and it's very important that you do this to make the money that you need to make. So this is another reason why you guys should be following the Missy Building Guide and unlocking your storage very early on in the game. If you're somebody who's made one of the top three common mistakes, then 
you're going to have a hard time following this guide. Now, one of the top three mistakes is leveling too quickly is number one. That's the, the worst thing you can do for your game is to level too quickly. The second mistake, the biggest second mistake is making the wrong items for money. And the third mistake is unlocking regionals too early. Okay? So if you fall into any of those categories, if you are a level, if you are above level 40 and have less than max storage, you got a problem. And it's going to affect how you make your money. It's going to affect how well you do on your epics. It's going to affect every aspect of your game. Now, if you've seen my videos, you already know this shit. And I don't need to tell you how screwed you are. So, if you're having trouble holding the amount of text that you're going to need to make your flower. So, essentially, you're going to need to make a um, hundred and... 50 techs is what you need for your, your blue techs, your caps, and your flower. That's the total amount of techs you're going to be making in a day. Now, let's see, stock up, da, da 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 total factory time as of now. So the total time that we've made right now is eight hours for the sleep, one hour day, so we've used nine hours. So we put we put an hour aside for the metal, the plastic, and the wood in the morning. So we've used nine out of our 24 hours. Now, the daytime run. Once you have finished making any wood, any metal, any plastic, you will start your first full batch of techs. So 60 techs. That's three hours. Once that full batch of text is completed, you're going to make a full batch of seeds. You'll need a total of 150 brown text to produce 40 flower, 30 caps, 5 blue, five blue text. Use yesterday's batch to keep shop running currently. Start, start making 60 out of the 150 texts needed. When the first batch is completed, split them in... Hold on. Split between the batches of 60 seeds for 20 minutes. And then depending on your storage, you can make the remaining 20 seeds immediately after, or you can wait until they're needed. So if you're hurting on space, you can wait on the seeds until they're actually needed. Now, the brown techs, 60 of them, three hours, 20 seeds, or 60 seeds, 20 minutes. 60 brown techs again, three hours. 20 seeds again, and then 30 brown techs for the third round. This is going to leave you with 10 extra space, okay? And 20 minutes on seed, three hours on techs. So you're going to have 10 extra space available after... You're going to... Okay, so you're running 30 techs, 20 seeds, right? Now you have 10 space left. For 20 minutes, you have 10 space. Once those seeds are done, you're going to have an additional 20 space. So you're going to have 30 space in total extra that you can use while those techs run. Now, what you want to do with that, that's totally up to you. I, if it were me, I would recommend making, keeping them open to make metal, wood, and plastic for your hammers, your nails, and all that good shit. That way you have those factories available to you. That way you don't have to go on the global market and buy them. Because if you have to buy them, you are going to cut your, your profits a little bit. Because that's the money you spent. Um, so if it were me, I would definitely leave them open for that. Okay? Now... Total time so far is 9 hours on text, 40 minutes on 80 seeds with the 10 extra space and then the 20 space that you guys have after the seeds are finished. Now, I listed in order, the even though it was listed above in the chart, which items 
which factory items turn the highest profit. So let's say that you were on your game and you're able to sit there and collect stuff from your factories. This, this is how much money you can make per minute or per hour making these. Okay. So you make 600 per hour making one metal, one, not one batch, one. Okay. One wood, if you were to make one wood every three minutes for one hour, you would make 400. $400 an hour. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, again, if you were to make one metal consistently every minute for a whole hour, you would make $600 per hour for that one metal. So now you would take that and you would multiply it by however many factory slots you have available to you. If you're somebody who has 55 slots, you're going to multiply it by 55. So $600 times however many slots available that you're using. Okay? That's what you can make for your factory items. Now, total items sold from this production plan. Just This is just what we can guarantee that you are making and selling for a fact, okay? This isn't anything you've purchased, any materials you've purchased in any way, or any gifts, or anything you've bought for less, or any tokens. This is just what I can guarantee, all right? 40 donuts, $38,000. 198 nails, and the reason it's 198 is because you're using 42 of them to make chairs, or big or, big capital letters, or 60 bricks. So 11400 but you are going to deduct the cost of the materials from the bricks, so it's a little bit less. But essentially, you're still selling it for 11400 okay? Three gnomes for 4800 42 chairs, 12600 30 caps for 18000 five blue techs for 3050 six pink lemonade bottles, so pink drinks, for 10140 12 TVs, 15360 This totals you out for the nails. If you were to make the nails, this totals you at $117,790. If you were to make the bricks and not the nails, you would make $113,550. As I just said, this excludes, and I go through the list of things that it excludes. Now... Remember before when I said that I'm going to provide you guys with a list of items that you should always purchase on the global market? And what you should make with those items purchased? Now, we basically went through this already, but I'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown. Anytime you can buy cream and rolls, do it to make ice cream. Anytime you can buy beef, cheese, or flour, do it to make pizza. Hang on. Okay, now I'm not going to go in detail to explain all this because I already did all this. I explained it in detail through the last four videos. So, and it's said right here. So basically you're going to make beef, cheese, or sorry, you're going to buy beef, cheese, flour for pizza. Melons, any melons that you can buy, okay? Um, after, let's say that you were... Let's say you buy melons, and you want to know if you should make pink drinks or smoothies. Well, smoothies turn a higher profit than pink drinks. However, however, if you only have a couple melons, so like let's say you bought like three melons, and you were to make smoothies, not donuts, um, the issue is that a donut at a three-star shop takes 36 minutes, Okay. A smoothie takes 24 minutes. So even though you're going to turn a higher profit making that one smoothie than that one donut, the issue is that you've cut into your donut production and you've fucked up the flow. So now you're kind of missing out on multiple because... How do I put this? If you spend 24 minutes on a smoothie... Versus 36 minutes on a donut. Okay. You have 
the time between the two, the difference. And because of that, you need a certain amount of melons to make it worth it. Otherwise, you just cut in. Otherwise, you're just kind of fucking up the flow of everything. And you're really not gaining much. Okay? So, you're better off if you take the melon and go and make pink drinks in your fast food shop. Because your fast food shop has nothing going anyway. Right? Um, than you are to completely fuck up the flow of your donut shop. But, let's say that your fast food shop is full of pink drinks or maybe it's full of another item, and you have a substantial amount of melons that you've purchased, like a lot, then I would say yes. Then it would be worth it to make, like, 30 smoothies, okay? But it's not worth it if you only have a couple and if you have your fast fast food shop available. All right. Now... Items you should never produce. Ever. All right? And unless you're doing it, like, for a, um, a, uh, contest of mayor's assignment, that would be one thing. But for the most part, um, you would never produce these unless you absolutely had to. So maybe you're doing an epic challenge and you can't find them on global. Or maybe you are um, doing a contest of mayor's assignment or whatever. Or maybe you're just stocking up because you're tired of not having shit when you need it. Okay? So, items you should never produce. And these numbers are for if you purchase the mats. Okay? If you purchase, so these numbers would be, these numbers would be even lower if you were to make the materials is what I'm saying. But if you purchase the materials and you were to produce beef, you make $7 and 16 cents a minute producing beef. Now you make $5 and 83 cents a minute if you produce corn. Essentially, now in this case, you don't need to divide, obviously, how many corn you can make and the amount of time you can make beef because we're not talking profit. We're talking per minute value. So per minute, every one minute you're making corn, you're making $5.83. Every one minute that you're producing beef, you're making $7.16. So if you were to make corn for two hours, you would end up with 500 and, or sorry, you would end up with, you would take $5.83 per minute, and then you would multiply it by the 120 minutes that's in, you know, the two hours. And that number would be the total amount that you earned per minute. Now, if you were to take beef and say you were earning $7.16 per minute, you would do the same thing, and then you would you would compare the two. They're going to be the same comparison, is what I'm saying. So you don't need to divide them in this case, because every one minute that you're producing corn, you're making X amount. Every one minute you're producing beef, you're making X amount. That is the difference, okay? So you would just subtract the 716 from the 585... You would subtract 583 from seven dollars and sixteen cents, and that's how much more you're making per minute by making beef instead of corn. Okay. Now, these are items you should never produce based off of purchase materials. Cream is another one. Okay. It seven dollars thirty three cents. Yogurt nine dollars eleven cents. Coffee fifteen sixty two. Now, the reason, if you guys go and look up the there's the charts that are in this um, this guide, as you, if you were to like scroll up, you would see, and I'm going to pull up my paper here. Which one are we on? We're on coffee. We're going to go to the donut shop. Okay. So for coffee, for the donut shop, permanent value, donuts, 
cake 3111, smoothie 4791, roll 3833, coffee 1562, and yogurt 911. Okay. Now, as we discussed earlier, the 4791 for the smoothies that take 24 minutes versus the donuts. We've already discussed why we chose to make smoothies. Okay. So based off of the, how do I explain this? With the charts that we've provided and the, the items we're telling you to make, you cannot come to the, you cannot understand why we're doing what we're doing if you don't understand how the game works. So if I was to go to somebody with this chart that I've made, with this production plan that's never played the game before, they would not be able to make sense of it. They would not, they'd be like, why in the fuck is she choosing to make smoothies? Or why in the fuck is she choosing to make donuts and not smoothies? When it's clearly obvious here that they turn a higher profit. So this is what I mean by we're, we're not able to prove why we're doing what we're doing with the information we've provided to somebody who doesn't know the game. Now for somebody who knows the game and watched my video, then they can go, wow, okay, I know why, because like she said, we would have to make shovels and saps and saps for melons and veggies and all that shit. So again, if you play the game, you also know that saps and melons are not easily obtained on the global market. But for somebody who doesn't know the game, it appears that we're doing the wrong items. Because if you look at the chart, you would go for the one that turns the highest per minute value and you would make that item. But knowing the game and knowing the algorithm and knowing which items are hard to find and which ones are made in which shop, it, ex it totally makes sense why we're doing what we're doing, okay? So that's why I wanted to make the video to be clear because if you look at the chart, it doesn't explain it. Now, if you've watched anybody else's YouTube videos on this game, they, it's the same thing. They, they pull up a website, they, they pull up these charts that other people made, and they, they look at you and they go, okay, you're gonna make this. You're gonna make donuts and you're gonna make uh, flour. And that's all they do. They just say, that's what you're gonna make. They don't tell you how you're gonna make, the, make it. They don't tell you which factories items to make. They don't tell you which materials to buy. They don't tell you how many you're gonna be able to make. And they don't tell you what to do at night. They just tell you, uh, yeah, this is a good profitable item in the shop. That's all they've ever done. No one, to my knowledge, at least from what I can find, nobody has put something like this together where they cross-checked every item in the game and typed up a plan on what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do it, and what you're gonna make by doing it. Nobody that I know of. Now, I would be really curious to see somebody follow our guidelines, okay, so like a realistic as aspect, and put together another plan that beats our plan. And I would, I've, I would love for somebody to do that. And I don't mean that in like a, in like a, uh, like a snotty, I know that my shit makes the most money way. I mean, I genuinely would like to see somebody put some time into the game and make what we basically do what we have done with the guidelines that we've chose to follow and make more money than we're making so all three star shops all 60 factory slots all 11 production slots with a realistic gameplay i don't want somebody to go you know what i made more money because i in my plan i told people to make 97 smoothies or 40 smoothies in a day. Okay, well, how are they gonna do that? If they can't, if it takes 48 hours to make 40 melons, how are they gonna make 40 smoothies in a day? Oh, well, they're gonna buy the melons, but that's not realistic. So your guide is, yes, it's saying it makes more money, but nobody's gonna be able to find that many melons. Oh, okay, so then somebody comes at me with another guide and they say, well, you know what? I told everybody to just make nails. And, and metal all day long. 
Well, yeah, that would turn a nice profit, but again, it's not realistic. So if you can come at me with a realistic production plan, and I don't care if you purchase materials, I don't care if you make the materials, I don't care if you do a combination of both, but if it's realistic, okay, and it's actually doable, it's plausible, and you can make more money than what we're making here, I would love to see it. And I mean that genuinely, I would love to, because I actually offered this to several people in my group to kind of compete against me and CPT because I was interested in viewing another, po another point of view. And we, we sat down and we tried to make, so we sat down with the guide that we made and we tried to make a different guide and say, okay, well, let's say that, let's just say we were to do this instead of that. And then that would mean that we did this instead of this in this shop and da, 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 da. And we spent like three days cross-checking every possible variation of items that we could think of. And it all led back to this, that this made more money. So if somebody else can come up with something better, I would really love to see it. Now, this being said, you should never produce drills, saps, lawn chairs, backpacks, popcorn, burgers. Now we've discussed why burgers are not good to make. Popcorn, it requires a microwave and corn, which both of those items are very low profit. Okay, they're also very hard to find on the global market and there's just no reason to make it, all right? Now, couch and microwaves, you don't wanna make those either. So as if we didn't have enough um, drama to deal with with this damn fucking guide, we decided to make a token guide. So, shit, oh my god, is there really going to be five parts to this video? Oh my god. All right, I'm going to upload this, and we're, we are, I swear you guys, we are almost done. See, right here is the token guide. So, basically... If you guys wanted to, if you had followed the Missy production guide and you have a substantial amount of tokens, okay, you can run, if you were to run three time, three gold tokens on flower and four gold tokens on your barn, you can make a total of 30 flower per gold token. That's 90 flower in three hours and then you would have to run now then we were like well then we have to run x amount of flour at normal speed because we don't want our shop just running out right so we had to do the math for that and that was 25 flour with 12 minutes remaining okay so you're going to make let's see you're going to make 90 flour at a 12 times speed that's three gold tokens. So 30, 30, 30, okay? Then you're gonna run 25 flour at normal speed and you're gonna have 12 minutes left to spare. Your donut shop, you're gonna run four gold tokens. You're gonna make 20 donuts per one token. That's a total of 80 donuts for four hours of gold tokens running. And that is going to give you a total of 33 donuts at normal speed. So the total donuts made in a 24 hour period using four gold tokens is 80 on tokens, 33 on normal speed. That's a total of 113 donuts. And that will, uh, tokens will, okay, yes. Tokens used will result in a higher profit being made per day, obviously. So for you level 18 players, introduction, level 18 is a popular camping level. Because of this, we decided to make a production plan for level 18 players. Please take into consideration that we used all five slot factories, max time discount, and production slots available to a level 18 player. Factories at five slots each is a total of 35 slots. We start with collecting your nighttime run of 35 sugar. That's used to make your donuts. Nighttime, 
obviously, produce 35 sugar for four hours, okay? Your morning, where is it? Okay, your morning, you're going to produce 35 brown textiles, or no. Your morning is blank, okay? So that's what you're going to, you're going to do like metal, wood, plastic, whatever you got to do to get your shops running the same as before, like in the, the higher guide. Then you're going to do your daytime, and your daytime is to produce um, 35 brown texts in three hours, then seeds, then texts. And again, you're going to be doing the same thing as we were doing up above. You're going to be working your day before, right? So that you can do today's stuff. So you're going to have to hold stuff. Now, you basically are going to end up, and you guys can read through this on, on your own time because I really don't want to do four parts to this video. So I'm trying to get through this really quick, okay? So you're going to use a total of 16 hours in total in the factories, leaving eight extra hours of factory time to make whatever you want. So after you make all of the stuff that you need to make for the day, you're going to end up with eight extra hours to do whatever the fuck you want to do with it, okay? Now, your barn, 16-hour day to an eight-hour sleep, you're going to produce 32 flour in 16 hours. That's going to give you $18,240 in flour, but you're not selling the flour. You're going to turn it to donuts. Now, the nighttime, you're going to produce 11 flour for $6,270, and you're going to sell the nighttime flour because you can't make pizza at your level so you're going to convert for your donut shop you're going to make 32 donuts and again you guys don't have tokens so you're going to have an overflow of flour now a lot of people choose to make melons instead of flour so they make the melons um versus the flour and they lose money okay so if you're a level 18 player you can't make pink drinks and you shouldn't be making smoothies because it's going to fuck up your donut production. So don't make melons at night. Or wait. Yeah, no. You're going to make flour at night at your level. Because you can sell those 11 flour for $6,270. If you were to sell the amount, because melons at your level take 90 minutes. And you would make substantially less than if you were to make the flour, okay? Now, the donut shop. Oh, we did the donut shop. That's 32 donuts. And then your building supply shop. Again, you're going to have option one and two, same as before. You're going to need a certain amount of nails to make your chairs. And then if you wanted to... If you're able to check in on your game every 49.5 minutes, you're going to be able to make nails during the day, and then you can make your bricks during the day if you if you don't um, if you're unable to check in on your game every 49.5 minutes, you're going to make bricks, and you're going to buy the minerals just as before, as like we discussed. Now, here's the other issue. So you're, you'll have a little extra time. You'll be able to make one plank, and you can use that one plank towards a table at night. Now, if you look at your hardware shop, the daytime is to make 59 um, hammers in 12 hours. That leaves you four, four hours remaining in your day to make eight shovels and one hammer. Nighttime, make 11 shovels. The hammers are used to make chairs. Shovels are used to make grass. If you buy if you buy planks, you can use them to make tables during the night in the hardware shop. The issue is that tables do turn a higher profit, but if you were to make the planks, it would cut out some profit in the hardware shop. So if you're able to buy the planks, then you can make tables at night in the furniture shop. But if you can't buy the planks, then just make chairs during the night, okay? Uh, you will have that one plank that you were able to make, so you will definitely have one table at night for sure. Now, the furniture shop, like we just discussed, that's what you're going to do. 11 tables at night if you can buy the planks. And um, the total profits that you're going to make for the level 18 guide is... 
going to be based on quite a few things, but let's say that you were to make the highest profit. Let's just say you were to make the chairs and um, the, the, the bricks. You would get 75360 and if you were to... I mean, you can add up these numbers, you know what I mean? Like, you'll, that's your total. So it just depends on if you made nails, if you made bricks, if you made chairs, if you made tables, like what you were able to end up with. So the level 18 guide, you don't have an appliance shop or a um, fast food shop. So we didn't do that. Now, that concludes this production guide, thank God. And that is pretty much everything that you would want to know on how to make money is in this guide. There is no reason to be broke. There's no reason to have any questions really on how to make money because it's all in here. I'm not saying you, sh you can't ask me a question if you're confused, but essentially this guide is pretty, is giving you the exact, um, the, the best possible way to make the most money basically is what it's doing. So enjoy. <laughs> Now, I will have some other videos coming out later today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow because I'm getting bored of talking. Um, I hope that this helps. And if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to put it in the comments or you guys can, you know how to reach out to me on Discord and Facebook and all that good shit. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and end this video. And if you are wanting to print this out, like I said, you can go to our Discord. The link for the Word document and, and the link for the PDF is in the Discord messages, and I posted screenshots. There will also be copies of this on my Facebook that I'm going to make public, okay? So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video.